What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. And you got to know by now that one of the or one of my most bullish positions that I have in my portfolio is a position that's um, kind of flying under a lot of people's radar. Meme coins are definitely in. When you look at things that are running the market, that are controlling a lot of um, you know new investors and where they're going with their money, it's meme coins. It's these popular positions that really don't have a reason, a rhyme or reason as to why things are running besides people getting behind it, right? Popularity. Um, it just means so much to the crypto market. And for people that say that meme coins um, don't mean anything and that they're all just, you know, for lack of a better term, shit coins, um, you don't understand that popularity runs different markets, right? Popularity can run real estate market. Popularity can run um, the stock market and run can run futures. It can run so many different things because it's all about what is popular at the time. What are people investing into? What's really growing by <clears throat> a massive amount? And maybe what's the reason behind it? Is there a solid reason or is it just because people are flocking to it and they see the opportunity? And that's what you see a lot of times with uh, meme positions. And if you don't know that one of my main positions that I think is going to absolutely explode is Elmo, then you've been living under a rock or you haven't been watching my channel at all. And if you haven't watched my channel, welcome. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button. But I'm going to explain to you why I'm such a big fan of elmo token so guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos like this one also there is some huge news absolutely huge news that i think we all need to um be aware of when it comes to <clears throat> elmo uh because again we all like to see hype we all like to see gains we all like to see um you know just something come out of nowhere and kind of had that cinderella story right that underdog story where everybody counts it out and then all of a sudden you know you're the one that decided oh you know what i'll i'll get my feet wet in this position i think that this is a solid position because of this 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 and this and <clears throat> um you know you end up seeing massive gains because of it right there's plenty of examples to where people counted something out right you counted out shib as it ran up to a 50 billion dollar market cap counted out doge it ran up to a 99 billion dollar market cap something like that <clears throat> and you count out a lot of different things pepe right uh terra luna classic and just a lot of things that had massive gains to it and people made money from it and you were left there trying to invest in something else because it moves more consistently and I understand that's the way investing was and, and still is, right? You want to make sure that majority of your funds are around investments that that really do move in a consistent manner, really do move in the right way. Um, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of those, but also just as excited to be a part of things like this, Elmo token. So guys, hit that like button, that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also make sure you guys check out some of the links that are down below. Follow my Patreon, follow my uh, my Twitter and just everything that's down below. If you guys wanna check them out, <clears throat> feel free to check out those links. But Elmo token, right? Uh, here it is right now. It's currently at 2369. We're seeing it down 3.65%. Um, the market cap is sort of unknown, so we're going off the fully diluted market cap that they have, so somewhere around a $10 million market cap, so not crazy. You can see so much more growth. <clears throat> um, volume, you're looking at $312,000 worth of volume, so not really that popular, not really that insane right now, but as you see more exchanges, as you see more abilities to buy it or more of an ability to buy it, people will start to flock to this because it is one of those plays that's like, wow. Like, why, how have I not been a part of this sooner? <clears throat> um, if we go into the detail behind the scenes and understand where the overall supply is, because over on CoinMarketCap, they show 454 million, but that's not right. You're seeing 382 million supply. The, the unique thing about this, the thing that makes this its own um, thing <clears throat> is it's a deflationary project like no other position. This is a position that has a 10% tax um, that exchanges are implementing so that when you go on exchanges and purchase, you're going to have that tax, right? Whatever exchange they decide to launch on, it will have that tax because this token is supposed to be deflationary. And that's what's going to be built into the, the uh, contract when you uh, sign with exchanges. That's just built in automatically through the DEX side. You have a 10% sell tax. Buy tax, you have no buy tax. So people can buy as much as they want. 
but when they decide to take their profit from it, well, now you're going to have that tax associated with it, right? If you turn $100 into $1,000, <clears> you get taxed to 10% and that you get taxed to $100 is going to sound, oh, you know what? I, I got taxed $100. That's not great. You made $900 off of it. So most likely you're going to be okay with it. That's where this all comes into play with this meme position that's going to absolutely run and see the deflationary aspect to it. And let's say you are a person that held on, you bought it in $100 and you turned it into $1,000. Well, that next person that decides to sell, let's say you didn't sell, that next person that decides to sell gives you a better chance of seeing a higher number, right? Because you're seeing that person sell decrease the overall supply by a certain amount. When you decrease that overall supply, you're seeing the overall ceiling of the price go up because price multiplied by supply equals to the market cap is. So if you see the same market cap, you're going to see a higher price with a lower supply. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, we can break it down. <clears throat> a little bit more than that, maybe in like a live stream, or I even break it down on Patreon if you guys want to sign up for that. Um, but anyways, while we see all of this, people are like, hey, you know, we only have 2,300 holders though. When are you going to see that growth? When are you going to see that absolutely skyrocket? And I think the, the, the other thing that makes Elmo very, very unique is the fact that they are doing something that other deflationary projects haven't done negotiating the fact that they want their their burn tax <clears throat> to be on the platforms that they are being traded on so the cex's have all of the control but if you start out by saying hey you know we only want to go on your platform if you're going to implement this burn tax and that's what we're going to we're going to work with and you can't go you can't go around that this is what we're agreeing on and if you list this project this is what you are agreeing to and if you do that you're going to see so many more burns because that's where the volume is the cex side of things so it's huge right you're not seeing that with something like Terra luna classic which we need that for recovery not because you want to make it deflationary you're not seeing that with bnb you're not seeing that with cro you're not seeing it with with shiba inu <clears throat> any place that they're implementing those cryptocurrencies you're not seeing a deflationary aspect across the board but elmo token no matter where it gets listed it will have the burn tax and if it if uh, they decide not to do it, it will not get listed on that platform because the the concept behind this, the idea behind this is the fact that it is a deflationary model. Now, huge news, right? Um, takes seven minutes and 40 seconds <clears throat> to get through to this huge news. Um, Elmo, just as I talk about exchanges, right now it's only offered on Uniswap and BitMart. You're seeing over half the overall supply go on BitMart, which still does have the tax, right? Or half the overall uh, volume, <clears throat> looking at $200,000 and $100,000 that goes through DEX volume. Well, you're also going to have another platform, a new exchange announcement. If you go on Elmo ERC's uh, Twitter page, <clears throat> you're gonna see here that starting tomorrow, um, which is at 9 a.m. UTC, the 10% sell tax will be on Coin W official, Coin W exchange, um, which is huge. And I, I didn't really know how big Coin W was, um, but I went to go check it out. So again, they're gonna have the 10% sell tax that is applied on there. Uh, so you're gonna see that burn off as well. But now like we need to understand how big this exchange actually is. So if we scroll down here, we're going to see that coin W actually had over a billion dollars worth of volume in the last 24 hours, a billion dollars worth of volume has 2.1 million weekly visitors, almost, almost 2.2. And you're seeing here that it has more exchange volume than crypto.com, you know, crypto.com having a hundred million, you have L bank that has 400 uh, $452 million worth of volume, MEXC that is 500, but you have coin W that had a billion dollars worth of volume in the last 24 hours. That is huge. That's, I'm not saying it's bigger than all of these exchanges and how many users they have, but you're seeing a, you know, a pretty decent size comparison. And if not a little bit better than what you would see there, right? You have coin W with a billion dollars worth of volume. So that is a massive move that you're going to see that tradable in there. I don't know how much volume is going to go through there, but it's good to see the 10% tax. It's good to see that you're going to have volume and you have more exchanges that are coming. This honestly is going to be a great play. Now, I am um, <clears throat> a part of the team just to be as transparent as possible. Uh, I haven't created the coin. I'm just here to talk about something that I 
truly do believe in. I really only want to talk about projects that I do believe in, that I'm invested in, um, that I want to see absolutely succeed. And um, this is everything that I've wanted, right? There's plays out there where people will talk about something and go, oh, this looks amazing. No, I've been talking about a deflationary model project for probably two years at this point. And how I want to see more and more that burn off because that's the way everything works, right? You talk about sneakers, the sneakers, they make 10,000 of them. If a thousand of those disappear or get burned off or whatever, the, the other, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the shoes that are left, whatever shoes that are left, um, you know, I don't even know if I said a thousand and a thousand, but basically if you have a certain amount and you burn off a certain amount, whatever's left is going to be more valuable. For some reason, I forgot I lost my train of thought and how much I actually said from the beginning. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Everything really functions under this deflationary model. Um, and it creates scarcity and creating scarcity creates a higher value for whatever is left. Um, so I'm excited to see what Elmo <clears throat> can be and all of the different things that they're implementing. This is what I actually wanted, you know, Lunatics Token to do. I wanted to see more and more exchanges, them find a way to fight for this tax somehow, some way, and, you know, go on about their day. But, you know, I, I wanna see it. And we're seeing that out of Elmo and the team, you know, has these connections and it's just fantastic to see that. So I'm not telling you to, to secure a bag now. I'm not telling you that you have to buy right now. I'm telling you to just research it a little bit, right? Look what they're doing. See uh, how things can run if you do have a deflationary model and then go from there. You can make your decision. You're the one that ultimately pulls the trigger <clears throat> when it comes to making your investment or buying whatever investment it is. So do your research. Um, seriously, I want you to do as much research as possible. And then whatever you want to end up investing, if you choose to do that but make sure that you play it as if it, if every other play or just like any other play that could be a little bit risky, right? You never know what could happen. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one.